we thought. Why not dive into one of the worst, if not the worst, which is highly debatable. Oh, nope. it's so hard to choose the worst. Worst Corey Feldman film ever. How about one that he definitely directed uh -huh. and starred in? We've always been looking for the highlights. Yes. And the, the positive things. We did start that way. Yeah, absolutely. We did. We are fans. I've been a Corey Feldman fan since I can remember. Lost Boys, baby. Let's dive into Corey Feldman, his masterpiece that he had total creative control over and see what awesomeness can we pick out? We're starting really poorly. This is very, very Bikini bad. Bikini shops, 553. Real blonde zero. So he's, he's already talking trash about popular culture. Yeah. That he is trying to make. Someone, Corey Feldman Incorporated Productions. Someone learned how to use uh, uh, <laughs> After Effects yesterday. <laughs> Corey Feldman production. Corey Feldman. Now. Oh, it's Corey Haim is in this? Hey man, they were they were buddies. I did not know that. Now I feel bad. Don't feel bad. Is that him singing? We put together a sweet sensual. What is that? <laughs> hey, this is sensual. <sighs> it's all done tastefully. Yeah. Look, boat. Yeah, I like sailing. <laughs> no one told him no. This whole film was gonna be nothing but- this, Todd Bridges? This, was he in there? Yeah. It's all boobs, slow motion. It's not even suggestive. Elliot Gould is the game show host. You know this is gonna be great. Oh yeah. We don't need names, just titles. The it's guy. better than Last Resort. Because Those titles were they was. assaultive. Yeah, they were. Lampoons? I don't know. Uh, last Resort. This is already horrible. Who did this? Jesus Christ. Not Jesus did not do this. <laughs> and that's a word that I made up. Guy doing drugs all the time? Corey Feldman. <laughs> Bradford Hill is a really good line producer. Well, he's one of the best. When you get Irv, I'm sorry, boob. <laughs> Look how giant the boob is. You yeah. Can, okay, he did not write this, to be fair. No sharks. This is gonna be bad. Oh, oh wow. my God. This is like CDI version gaming. Great white. Things just haven't been the same since he's been gone. Yeah, that fish was is that the Punisher? This is a porno shoot. Yeah. Hamilton, where have you been all morning? That work. Why's your hand on your gun? There. Found a missing earring. Huh. Hamilton, hit the streets. Yes, sir. This is how they introduce Feldman? Let's roll. Single camera, no edits. Locked off. Sir. Casey. Onions, sir. <clears throat> I actually, uh, I wanted the sesame seed. So, um, I just want to say thank you to the 7,000 subscribers. Please don't unsubscribe. Zero. Accidental deaths. Is this a Zoom or a Dolly? Perfect. Dolly. Zero. But we have had an increase in the number of women jumping out of their showers and running through the yard. Naked. That. That would be the peeping Tom. We're supposed to think that they're hearing that? Sketch. Did they ignore that sound? Is that an alien they're saying? Yeah. It says the suspect. You're not missing anything. They're good, but that one's bad. Really nice. So it's, um, I like that the, um, that the actors are raw. Raw acting. Raw, raw acting. Um, they use at least two camera angles, wide and not as wide. They got hot cops, they got fat cop, and then they got short uh, Cory cop. And Asian cop. Oh, they got Asian cop? No Mexican cop. Check out the diversity though. I know, a little weird. Right? No, no two Mexican. white women. Uh, they made it, which is very hard to do. Very hard it's to do. It's not easy to make any film. The worst, crappiest film ever still took a tremendous amount of effort. I know no one cares, but it does. <laughs> it's still hard to make. You bake a shit cake, you still had to bake a cake. Right. It just happened to have shit ingredients, and that's what this is. Shit cake. Shit cake. Hashtag shit cake. Hashtag. <laughs> What is yeah, that? Yeah, I'm an influencer, so you have to understand that. <laughs> Look at that, uh, Hey, this outfit didn't make itself. I made no. this outfit 
to be entertaining. That's right. Look, look, matchy, matchy. Hashtag shit cake is gonna go like hotcakes, but just the shit ones. I don't want, I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> anyway, comment below. So, basically, I want you to keep doing what you're doing. Keep your eyes out for that. I don't think that Asian guy knows what he's doing here or, ca <laughs> or cares. <laughs> he has no lines. And don't get caught sleeping in the squad car. That's because I was using my other senses, like a ninja. Okay. Uh oh. Let's just. So, when you go out there today. Hey, Beverly Hills Ninja. That was a good movie. If you run into a criminal, and you. I think that they're the. What do you? How did you? How do you think that they? He saw that this was going to go. What do you think his vision was? Like a police academy? Yeah. yeah is that the Punisher? Hey. Um, I think mean, it looks just like him, right? Just blow everyone away, please. You but. So is he Italian or Latino? Like his He's shirt, Italian. his shirt isn't pressed. Right. You know, just it's it's ill fitting. Look now how skinny he is. Now they're panning down. Nope, no he pants. Doesn't have pants on, and that he guy has is a smoking Johnson. Hashtag smoking Johnson. So he, he thinks he, he's doing like um, uh, naked gun, naked gun kind of yeah. uh, police academy shit. Morning, Lieutenant. Morning, officer. Please don't make me. Yeah. I have to censor that. Oh good, more work for Chris. I get to see it because I'm here. Wait! Wow. Slow motion now. Can you believe he directed this? He, can you believe he directed this? Was this in the script? Can you see that that's him? Oh, he doesn't do anything without his wife though. He was not married during this. They're all naked. Yeah. They're naked. None of this is necessary for any part of the... <laughs> this is taking a long time. A very long time. They're not even simulating sex. No. It, it's still trying to be Naked Gun, but not because he's a weirdo. Well, he's doing like a, a cheeky jive on uh, 80s movies, right? That took a long time. It took a very long time. Slut fund, we get it. I. Okay. All right. Let's just. Yes, sir. Is she gonna end up being hot later in the movie? How could you tell? Ah, someone will be right over to pick you up. David, we got one. Yeah. Who's it for? Be a me. Ah. Oh. Good. Wake her up. You know what really is impressing, imp impressive to me is that they make these giant wide shots that don't need to be wide and have so much headroom that their audio can't get closer. So it all sounds from a distance. Right. And there's- <laughs> Gary, Gary? I'm gonna be really annoyed Why? with this movie. I'm gonna be really annoyed for this very reason. This is all this movie has. Can I take it out and trade? <laughs> Gary. Right, all right. The women's auxiliary is coming. The, her face is cut in half. It doesn't matter. It's like signaling something and it's against the code or the rules or whatever. I'm sure he read up on Corey that. Corey didn't do a very much research and I'm disappointed. They're waving at something at a different time of the day and place. Right. Did someone crashed. She's jaywalking. Right. That's where we're at. That is where we're at. Right there, miss. Yes? You realize that you were jaywalking? Well, I... Uh, we have... This was a huge mistake. No, but you're still getting a ticket. But don't stop. And I got two cops for the jaywalking. You have a great butt. Okay, attention, you bloody... But actually, she was walking from corner to corner, so that's not actually no, jaywalking. she was on the... Actually, that's a parking lot. That's not even a street. Are those people even... Par they're, they're just walking by, huh? Did they get you permits? You guys this shut movie this down. is so good that there's people in the movie that didn't even know it. There. Yeah, that dude is definitely not part of this movie. No. <laughs> He's eating an ice cream. Right. Well, what this framing is, is this? Excitement. <laughs> wow. I mean, what really, where do you think he is in his life in this moment? He's definitely on drugs, right? Yeah. Look at him. Did you see anything? 
I saw two guys running out of a liquor store. They had shorts on and they had black ski masks. There was a weird jetter right at the end as if he had doubled the frame in order to make the edit. I didn't want to say anything. I it, really didn't want to say see, anything. Uh, Chris edits for a living and I did that for a while and I, I've tried to sneak in at- Tell me, did you see anything? I saw two guys- Right there. Right there, <laughs> yeah. They extended the frame. They slowed it down like, so they had time. Like his eyes moved in the real frame, so they had to double the frame that was there in order to make his eyes not move or his hand not move. Why is there so much headroom? There's a ton of headroom in every, almost every so it's shot. The, it's the space right here, and you're, there's only supposed to be so much. If you watch, you know, good television or movies, there isn't as much as there is in this. It almost seems like whoever is behind the camera I, I, I'm going to say it's a DP, it's a director of photography, okay? I'm just gonna say that. That they're just saying all eyes have to be on the top third. I mean, Right. Like no matter if it looks bizarre or terrible. See what I mean? Yeah, it's like they, they're not usually a DP. Like maybe the editor is shooting or something. Why is there so much headroom? Look how much room there is. Amanda, if that's what you're asking. People have commented before, like, hey, you know, it'd be nice if we could just hear some of the dialogue from the film and keep You're up on the wrong it. channel. You're complete. I'm telling you right now, we're talking and we're listening to this crap. And I'm telling you right now, what we're saying is more interesting purple monkey dishwasher. <laughs> donkey, donkey, donkey. I'm my own grandpa. What does that mean? <laughs> no, if you're here to watch this movie, don't. Click away. Click, Click away. It's fine. We're sorry. It's not like we're thinking we're the best ever. No, no, no. We're. We don't know why anyone watches this. <laughs> we don't. Yeah. That scene, useless. He's already planted sitting somewhere else. So that time and space, the clock is the same time. The clock never, oh no, it did move a little bit, but not a lot. I don't have a mustache. He's in love with this angle. <laughs> it's, it's the cheapest, fastest. They, they probably have, for this section of time, they probably have two, they have time for two lock off spots. Right. And one is him, and one is who he's talking to. Okay, there is a third. <laughs> but that's the same angle from before. So, how are Why does it look like a space station? It does. It's like an Outer Limits episode or something. Yeah. From the 90s. Is it the future? Have you? Not a thing. Is it a dystopian future where Corey can be a cop? Because all we are doing is taking crime off the streets. Why is his belt? Off to the side. Are they in the police station? Yeah. The space police station. Well, I just wanted to warn him because he's up for re-election. Why did he do that? Instantaneous, ostentatious morality. Precisely. So they really, he really thought. No, he, no, 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 I'm changing my mind in mid-sentence. He was doing this strictly for money and strictly to get something done, right? Just to do something? No. That's the thing about it. Why are there automatic doors? Like a space station? Because it's built into the set. This was a space station set. Right. It, it had to have been. Right. So he's just using some soundstage, whichever was the cheapest. I got a few items here for us to practice with. Try and find what But there's no way he could have thought that this was actually gonna be a good movie. No but he thought that for the budget, he was making something that was gonna make mo more money than the budget was. Right. Right? There's a, there's a level of movie, it's not, it's like a C movie, not a B movie or, or like a, you know, triple A movie, it's, it's a C movie. Yeah, like Sharknado wasn't supposed to make money. Right, exactly, so, but this isn't as good as that. This isn't anywhere near, it's not even worthy of a TV movie. Like it's not worth the tape that it's on. No. This was probably, there, you know, well, let's say there's 10,000 copies of this out there. Yeah. Blank tapes are worth more. They should have, yeah, they should have invested in blank tape. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Technology. Blank tape distributors. <laughs> Just turned the whole thing right. around. We're gonna make money off blank tapes rather than make this movie. They go, oh, okay, yeah. See you again, Dr. Kaplan. Thelma. Look how much headroom. I can't get over it. There's a slut fund. Is the shooter is the camera operator a tall guy and he just refuses to get down? Look how it's shooting down on That's a six-foot-tall guy. 
They're, we're talking so much. And they're much, on a dolly. We're talking so much technically because they're, they're strange, weird decisions that could only have been done by either incompetence or this is what we have, so we're just going to use it. Right. Which doesn't serve. We're going to make this movie no matter what. Hey, bad, bad boy. This is the jail. I'm going to have to strip search you. So if you were like 12 or 13. Uh -huh. And this showed up on TV and you know, you're alone. Would, <laughs> would this be something you would watch as a young guy and be like, this is awesome. No, <laughs> I had better taste than this. This would be on and I'd be like, oh, what, what's on in three hours? Because then I'll come back to HBO. Where's women in prison for? That'd be pretty rad. Way better than this. Another glove. Yeah, we talk about the micro decisions that are made when you're making a movie. All of this is intentional and we don't understand the intent behind these intentional decisions. It's <laughs> This it, is alien to us. If you think about something that's fantastic, a movie that's fantastic, there's a lot of micro decisions that went into making it great. Tons. Because people have experience and thought and artistic vision and all those things, and we're just surprised how little of those kinds of decisions were made in in this film. Please don't make me do more editing here. I'm just gonna, oh, I'm gonna blur we're, this shit. We're headed, we're headed there. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna blur the whole thing. Like, I, I'm too, I'm tired of this. Here it comes. This is a lot of work for Chris. So they, they <laughs> They're, you tried to look away like it was going to be better. They're clearly making this like a strip tease. Like this is the POV of at a strip bar or something, right? Right. They're not hiding it. They're not pretending that this is part of a major story or anything. Right. It's just now you, the audience, bought this or rented it or stole it to sit here and pretend like you're at a strip bar. I would like to have stolen this movie and then thrown it away and been like, crime doesn't pay. That would have felt good. Right. Would, like Robin Hood, you would have been like. Right. Or yeah, go in there and try to steal a bunch of them just to throw them just away. Just to throw them so away. So that no one else has to watch it. I'm asking. Um, Martin Riff. I'm, I'm the new guy. Good to see you, son. Is that the guy from Police Academy? You hope it is. I, I thought know. that too, but now I hope it's not. Well, organization, you know, I was gonna yeah. Wow, isn't that hilarious? We get it, we got it. Look at how much headroom's in that shot. Squeeze it. Why is it so far away? Oh, that's a girl. This is one of the only unique shots of the film so far. Right. Is that? No, okay. I thought that was the girl from, um, I forgot her name, excuse me, but from Ferris Bueller's. What is she? You really are a bozo on yourself. Tit. Right. <laughs> Tit for tat. Excuse me. Officers Casey and Lacey, rookie Marty Riff. You, you mean they're not the hookers? No, you idiot. Hookers have real tits. Is he a nerd? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. We're yet. back in the space station. It is a space station. Always the one. Because it's the 90s, you have to have rollerblading. Right. Captain? Take your hands off me, you slime ball. Found her on the corner of First Domain. Because she called him a slime ball. Whatever dumb jokes happen, don't repeat them to me. I get <laughs> I get them I get them instantly and am feeling disgust by the time that you repeat them. I do that to Chris to torture him, not to inform him no, about the joke. He knows I know instantly. <laughs> Maybe I'm helping the audience. Yeah. Don't insult them. <laughs> you know, slime ball. <laughs> Choice of a new gentleman. Like that one viewer in Chicago. Comment below if you're the viewer in Chicago. That one guy? Yeah, if you're that one guy. All right, let's see what let's see what we're missing because we're talking okay. so much. Well, we really just we've just we've missed nothing. We've just added a new character that has a lot of energy, teased out hair, gold lame jacket, leather leggings. I want to make a phone call. You'll make a phone call when I say you can make a phone call. Well, I ain't saying shit until I talk to my lawyer. Well, fine. We could use some silence around here. But he didn't write it. Your outfit. Rock of love? What is happening? <laughs> Just trying to be nice. Okay, so should we stop talking more or talk over this crap more? I mean, which is oh, worse? Yeah, yeah. Pick, pick your poison. No, let's, let's really focus on the movie. I can't do that. You can't. Shut up, you two. Hamilton. I ran a record. Not bad. 
second song's pretty good. Oh. What about the third song? Uh, not catchy enough. What? Like and subscribe. The name tag just says David in like a, one of those label machines. Sure. <laughs> Look at it. Doing my job. You uh, may have been with internal affairs. She thought I was a cop. Well, you can never be too sure. <sighs> so when we do these videos, we're not purposely trying. If you're not gonna charge me with anything, I'm gonna get the hell out. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You can go, darling. But <laughs> you can work right here. <laughs> yeah, try to say something real. But if you don't want to, can I borrow your outfit? Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth to this nation. Let it go. Let all of this go. Therapy no, has to have paid off. <laughs> Somehow. This is still going on. Right. I don't know who these girls are. I don't care. N Nobody cares. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I think I'll clean the locker room. I think not. I think that you're not gonna rest until you get out there and find me that peeping Tom. He reacted before the music played. Yeah. And he was in charge of when the music started playing because he's the director. I mean, you know he's sitting there next to the editor the whole yeah. time. And, no, that's not funny. More me. The director sits next to the editor. Look at how much headroom there is. It's the mayor! So when people say, oh, they must have had so much fun making this. No, this is hard and you, this is work and it's a lot of effort to put on that dress and dance around and get that shot and light it and get the camera guy there and get everyone fed and you know have a cooler full of waters for everyone to stay hydrated and make sure there's access to a bathroom. This is all work. God, Mayor Davies. Gentlemen. Sir, Mayor Davies. It has come to my attention that this police department is not- He's so short. Look how short he is. Working families, innocent children living in harmony with each other and the cities around them. They deserve a police department of dedicated, hard-working professionals. A police department serving the needs of the community. Hold it down, I'm trying to talk! Just the one angle? Yeah. Captain May? This is Captain May. Graphics. Donuts again. What's the cheapest thing we can do? Hi. Why the crazy door? It, it this was a, uh, this has to have been a, a. Comment below if you know what movie this set is from. C m movie, space movie set. Like, is this mystery science theater set that they're just shooting cops on? I think we should find out. No, Donut stockpile storage. Did they mean to do that? I don't think they meant to headbutt each other on accident. Oh, I didn't even see it. Whoa! Oh. Now we're talking. Sorry about what? <laughs> I'm, ro I'm rooting for the devil. He, he wiped it off instantly, off camera? Yeah. That's funny. It was erased somehow. This is still going on. I. They had to fill a lot of this movie up. Uh-huh. I'd like to see the locker rooms. Nah. Uh, okay, look at that one. See that picture right there? See what I mean? Jesus, dude. Uh, Where? Get all those adorable faces. Uh, something those, for dentists. Who are those weirdos? Why are those, that's, that, what is that, the crew? That wasn't. He pointed at that for a long time. Actually, uh, let us know if you had this videotape over the summer and you fell in love with this movie because you were you, you had it at Grandma's house. Todd Bridges. <laughs> of course, he's a criminal. <laughs> he can't be a police officer. I promise I'll never do it again, and from now on, I'll be a good girl. You're already pretty good. He was there the whole time? Is that what they're right. insinuating? I'm afraid to ask. Right, and then she whips him into shape and then they save the city. Or she loosens up and gets cool. 
Or both. And then they do like a water ski right. tournament. And then Todd Bridges soaps up her naked body. Would you believe the show that tests just how far your imagination will... How'd they get this guy? He's a real actor. He needed work. He needed real work. I mean, he needed anything. Good answer, but not good enough. Miss Bambi, would you believe? Um, we had the whole thing redone by Madonna's decorator. That's unbelievable. Captain Mary May for $500. This is one of the worst pieces of shit I've ever had to sit through. This is a terrible piece of shit. To the moment of conception. That's right. We have a winner. Captain Mary May of the Abbey Police Department. Step up here. Aren't you guys begging for a Patreon extended version? <laughs> Aren't you? You guys should live stream this. <laughs> 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 what a piece of crap. We'd have to take, I'd have to, we'd have to individually take breaks. So I know. You could take a breather mentally, I could take a breather. <laughs> Just keep rolling. Go watch one of our Scott Bayo videos. That's better than this. This is all drug use. We can't show this on our channel. Sure we can. <laughs> We're advocating against it. Oh yeah, we hate this. They showed this to kids in 1980. You're like, what? Oh yeah, this is like, this is on regular TV. They're never leaving the set. Scott Baio is 45 and single was better than this. Yes. I was chachi Oh. <laughs> I've never been married. What my deal is. Okay. I hired gosh. this life coach. Yeah. And I think, I, don't, I can't tell if she's half baked or not. We'll okay. find out soon. Is this like closer to his real attitude or is this completely phony? I can't, I don't even know. I don't know if he's a good enough actor to not be himself. Think this is some kind of game? You sell a bunch of people on making a movie and they invest in it and then you make something so terrible that you get to keep the money or, or yeah. something like that. The producers? Right. Like, yeah, you just slash the budget, you pay Feldman or he gets as much as he can. Right, well he gets directing and writing. Ivy and, and drip from this crap. Acting. Oh. I've never been so scared in my whole life. So. I can't believe I'm saying this. Like last resort, at least just barely sprinkled them in. Your chin popped that, and then all of her implants that were multiple implants that are still falling hit, hit you in the face. <laughs> so, the mayor gone yet? Yeah. Shit has really hit the fan. Wait a minute. They don't steal other people's jokes around here. We only borrow them. Good thing. Yes. Oh my God, I left Billy in the cell. So what's going on? Oh, well, let me tell you. One of the worst pieces. I, I'm repeating myself. I know. It's really bad. It's a, one of the worst pieces of shit I've ever had to sit through. If you think this is good, um, Sorry. go away. <laughs> like, unsubscribe. Yeah, I don't know. We're not going to say good things about this ever. No. So if this is part of your childhood, then I respect that. Get therapy. Get therapy and you need it. Go away. This is a fine way to run a business. Locking us up in separate sales. I feel like I'm about ready to bust. He's her pimp? Billy. David. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to leave you hanging. We had a little problem. Look, we have a little problem here. I heard that before. So have I. Me too. Huh. Headroom. Well, anyway. Uh, I guess we should probably leave you be for now. Yeah, uh, let's yeah. go. We'll come back. No, wait! David, you can't leave me like this, man! I feel like a prisoner! What would make you feel that way? They slowed that down as well, though. I believe that Corey being in front of the camera makes the direction of the film suffer. <laughs> or maybe it makes it better, who knows. What do you mean? Well, apparently... <laughs> Why? So true. I can't believe this is all taking place in this fake building. Yeah. The whole and film. It... Slut fund. Get it? <laughs> Guy with pants in the background. Can't get him on. Get Hamilton to run interference. He's right next to the stairs. He could just, you know, sit on the stairs. Did that hurt? Is that the same guy? I think so. No. He's just sitting now? Servant. I'll help anybody. No problem at all. Why would I care? What could have made this movie work? He's got sexual problems just like <laughs> I assure you. 
Time warp. Time warp where you don't have to have. Okay, we're in pre production. Yeah, yeah. Well, Corey, good, good Corey's news. directing. We got Corey Feldman. Bad news. He's directing and acting in it. And uh, I'm going to want a, a writing revision before we start shooting. Sure, but let me just. Let you, I'm going to pre-warn you here. Part of the condition of him directing and acting and starring in, is that he doesn't really want to learn lines. Way, don't forget, Bambi's in the cell. You got to get her out. Remember last time? So that's the kind of stuff that you're going to get if you can remember. Pretty miserable, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You're off key. Boobs? You guys want boobs? Better. It's the 90s. Better. Hey, we got to pump these out on VHS. All right, headroom. Look, you can see Why like, the set. Why is it shooting up? Yeah, the, the walls of the set are exposed. Why are we shooting up? Oh, God. Here he is. See, Carrie? No. All right, well, if you see her before I let her know we need her. In He's blinking a lot. We're not using the uh, cells in the day anymore. Okay. Okay, thanks. Hey, Cliff? Yes. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> you ever um, have two girls come on to you at the same time? Only in my dreams. What's up? Well, I, I don't know how to decide. What's to decide? Well, I've, I've never, you know, I've never been in this situation before. Well, Marty, there's worse situations to be in, all right? Trust me. I'll tell you what, if you get two chicks in the sack, all right, I'll turn in my badge. And it would almost be worth it. <laughs> Shut up. All right, so if you see Carrie, you tell her that? I will. Thank you. Thank you. What's more painful is watching this with Corey Haim because he actually can be a good actor. Yeah. And he sold the whole movie of uh, Prayer of the Roller Boys. Like, yeah. that whole movie was better because of him. Yep. Nothing but because of him. I love rollerblading, and I, would, I couldn't wait to slap the shit out of those guys. No! Oh! <laughs> it looks like him. That's not cool. A long time, Gary Lee. Is that his twin? It's warm. I'm confused. Battle of the bad hair is what's happening. I'm sorry, Corey. Heel. They're just not Heel. good at, at madcap, zany. Like there's more to it than just taking a bunch of cocaine and coming up with a situation. Lick my latex. Like why was that a scene? There's no comedic timing and there's nothing. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, there. you know how like most of these bad movies, they start off kind of structured and then they go off the rails? Uh -huh. This started off off the rails, so I, I don't know how the end's gonna happen. Microphone. Microphone's right. I maybe That that's, was not a good microphone. Maybe maybe they insisted on doing under shooting so much with the mic that- Would you Yeah. Believe? Thank you. They have to adjust every single shot. Up. Up. On purpose. This is just over the top. This is the kind of hard hitting, commentary that you expect from Back to Sofa. They had an under mic, so now everything's caca. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Let's get the 10,000. <laughs> People are definitely still watching. You're welcome. <laughs> no one's clicked away. Um, uh, all I need is my trusty rag. See, up, up. Yeah, up is like right under the Right. It's the worst cringe. Like this is cringe, and then it's ultra cringe. Did, did. <sighs> what a day. Time passed, and the day passed, or things passed. God. That was crazy. Sometimes you really gotta earn your paycheck yeah. around here. Are they? Are it they looks closed? Like a student film. Yeah. Leaving. I'm taking the books home with me. Think anything will happen tonight? Oh no. Nights around here are slower than the days. Ooh. I'm only a phone call away. Let's party! Yeah! He's not even dancing like the Corey way. Oh, she's letting her hair down. They finally got the headroom correct. No, they didn't. I, I don't even want to look. Day two, that was day one. How many days? Captain Mary May? I really don't want to look at how many more, how much time's left. <laughs> Corey, hey, we should not be in this. Hey, two Corys. Last night I went over the books. That's worth some clicks. 
<laughs> See, this is a business. <laughs> no, I'd rather not. I'd rather not have the clicks. No, right. it's good. No, money. No, I like that. Someone commented the other day. They were like, "You, you put in this clip just so you could profit from it." And it's like, don't worry. <laughs> there, there's no money in this. <laughs> we're watching this <laughs> so we can profit. We're going by the book. Oh. Ooh, by the book. Can you just go to a new set? Okay, never mind. Hey, that's an expensive set piece. It is. It's very sad. Patties. Oh, why is it? They were hi they were hiling. Yeah. Haim hiled. Understood. 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 Hey, I'll hile Haim. We have a new drawing of the. That's a great joke. Let's keep using it until the film is over. Is she like a hot chick from Saved by the Bell or something? I thought that was what's her name from Saved by the Bell, but it's not her. Let me say it again. They couldn't afford her. Guy, yeah, no. Where after they, after they got Haim, uh, Feldman doing double duty, you know, the budget, we gotta keep it. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know anybody was here. What are you sorry about? You know what would make this film way, way funnier out of nowhere is if they have all these stupid hijinks going on, you mm -hmm. know? And then they cut to like right. a block away. And like people are getting shanked and, <laughs> right. and like it's just bedlam everywhere. <laughs> like but but like brutal. Like blood in the streets. Like Robocop killing right. you know, just like chainsaw to the face. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> like at a supermarket, they're you just know, ah. right. all my life. I've never even had a beautiful one. Look at Like Kung Fury, the Uzi to the face to steal the boom bar. <laughs> so great. So when that happened, like <laughs> 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 and they're here doing that. Right. It's, it's happened twice. Twice? What's going on here? Hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> was that the same thing she was wearing? She left a note. La, la, la. Tell me when the I don't even know what to, there's nothing left to, to really insult it. Yeah. I lose creativity to even make fun of this. Like I, right. I, I'm slowing down. It hurts. This is aging me. Right? I know. Okay. I have one more gray hair than when I started out with. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Yeah, I don't like it. Let's keep losing. Oh! oh <laughs> what do you got there? <laughs> he haunts us. Oh. He haunts us. We cannot get rid of the surreal. Are laundry. they buddies? Is this after the. <laughs> Don't give me any of your lip. All right, listen up. I want you to take his cuffs off him, but watch him. He looks like a creep. He's gonna go! Well, at least they're smart enough not to give him lines. That's enough screaming! Now, listen to me. There's nothing to worry about. This acting or the birthday? What do you do, young man? I work in a pizzeria. An Italian restaurant. Where? Brooklyn, actually. Brooklyn? Are you from New York? Ah, uh, no. Well, anyone listening would think you were an expert in dolphins. Uh, where, where did you learn to talk like that? Um. Hey, fuck you, man. All <laughs> right. The park, and I, I was with my cousin Timmy, and we, we uh, we picked up one of those pamphlets, you know that? A pamphlet. Birthday. Birthday. Birthday all day. Now, stay focused. It's gonna be okay. Stay focused. You can do this. That would make this better. That would make it better. Go. Come on. Maybe he rewatched this movie and he was and he discovered the acting techniques. Oh, I should use that. I'll use it for my next movie. So the director of Last Resort is a better director than Corey Feldman because Last yeah. Resort, yeah. some of it worked. Yeah. Now, not a lot of like it. Like little tiny pieces. Right. But th none of this is hitting. Like not even hitting in the dumbest slapstick way. I'm telling you, it's not, um, there's, there's no hitting of the goal. Right. It's all a miss. It shows you how good Pee Wee Herman is because he does this goofy shit and I still laugh to this day and it's like, he has a flower and it squirts, but for some reason, the way it's all set up, it's great. 
Yeah, I agree. There's a fade to black. Right. Because we're a TV show now. Yeah. That small town morality. <sighs> What's the next joke? I saw the guy in the hallway. Get it over with. Burrito man. And why did they tease the burrito man? <laughs> Why did they even have him in the shot? And now we're waiting forever to see Burrito Man. Blah, 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 Burrito Man. No, I want to see Burrito Man. Oh, there we go. Or is that a donut? Is it a piece of bread? Good news. Got a little further on that. They're willingly distracting us. Wow. See, big differences now, huh? None of those computers are on. Right. This is how you're setting up this gag, is with this big of a character. Like, I can chill out, right? Yeah. I'm cool. It's I'm, fine. I'm cool, chill out, relax, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't bother me. I, I'm having a good I'm time. I'm not offended. I'm not offended. Oh. He snuck in. This is such a rush production. They didn't even get an apple box for Corey to stand in, stand on. Right, and he's so much shorter than everyone else. That it's super distracting, along with too much headroom. Yeah. Get him a, a one foot apple box. Yeah. So whenever you're watching this, just imagine that there's this little stick with the microphone that comes up right under the screen. And that's why everything is shot this way, not because it's the best way to shoot it. It's because of the microphone. Great. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Making fun of ourselves is way more entertaining than watching this. Yeah. Look at his clothes. These are planned. I did this on purpose. <laughs> Got new glasses, nobody noticed. I, I did notice. But he didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. No. You can't. So I was like, I'm not gonna say anything about your glasses. What are we, friends? Why are they whispering? But he's making a lot of facial gestures that could have more impact if you closed in a little bit. Too expensive. Need more boobs. You think it's personal? Why is, the, why is this still this shot for so long? They're still going on. I guarantee you, if you go back and find this movie and then rewatch that scene, no information and no entertainment was lost. No, the reason we talk over the movies is because we watch terrible movies. Yeah. This is a good example of that. It's some kind of defense mechanism to not go insane. Yeah, I'm trying to help you understand what, what the channel format is. The channel format <laughs> is talk over the terrible movie so you're not injured by it. I'm helping you. <laughs> There's, I just... Ladies and gentlemen, what? This is where all the money went. The second set. We asked for another set, and yeah. then this is what then we got it. We're gonna stop asking for shit. Foxy boxing, they used to call this. This setup, I skipped ahead. That setup for to get into the boxing took, I don't know, two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. Why the faces? So Corey Haim really just he. If this isn't union, then he didn't even get scale. He, but he got a check. Hey, Corey, can you stop by for one day? Yes, I'll come by for one day. I need money for vitamins. God, that's so depressing. That guy could have done so much more and had such a good career. Two, three. Corey Feldman, this was his opportunity to direct Mm -hmm. to star right. and to do slapstick comedy mm -hmm. in a way that he hadn't really done it previously. And this was a Kevin Smith's Clerks, right? Mm -hmm. Made for 500,000, he put all his credit card. All right, okay. Come on, Cut me, coach. And this is what he decided to do. Right. You can make a much smarter, much smaller, funny uh, piece of media. If you have talent. Yeah, that's true, actually. That looked great. We're done. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Become a channel member. <laughs> <laughs> Give us money for this. <laughs> what is happening? <sighs> you know, when I say what is happening, I don't mean like, I don't understand what the... I get exactly what's going on and I don't like it and I don't agree with it. And it's <laughs> counterintuitive to what should be shown on the screen. Why is his mouth like that? Casey! That's probably the real sound guy. Like at the end of our thing where we all dance and then yeah. the crew comes in and dances too. That's a good shot. 
Put that in. No. Put it in. No. Oh, he's got sunglasses now. Good, that's good. Inside. I understand. Good, mix it up. That's gonna mix up the yeah. entirety of your character three quarters of the way into the film. I don't care. I'm not the one who was standing there watching you guys fight it out. <laughs> anyway. Maybe in his contract he said, I wanna look as small and feeble and frail as possible. <laughs> Can you just give me a ton of headroom? I don't, in that case. I, I don't think a lot of contracts read that way. <sighs> All right. Oh, are they all boning again? Yeah, you, you know what is really crazy? Is Tommy Wiseau's sex scenes in the room, it has more thought and is better than this. More tasteful. It's more tasteful! Go and watch The Room now, that's our 500 subscriber video. It's a way better movie than this movie. It is more tasteful. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Love you, Why Tom. Why so long? Love you, Tommy. Oh my god. <laughs> the film just started. Oh! <laughs> oh, Corey's back. No. He's got a funny hat on that no. cops never wear. Go somewhere else. Good morning. And there's a drug free poster. They have that because they think it's funny. I think it's. Yeah. Because they're all on drugs. She's from something. Nothing that I know. As I told you more recently, I didn't think there was a need to. Yeah, you know what? Corey, what? Why the hat? Because no one can say no. I know. Too is because this entire department is about to be dissolved. <laughs> Objection! There are no plot points. We didn't do anything wrong. I think turning a police station into a house of ill repute is despicable. <gasps> ill repute? What? No. Ill repute. Ill repute. Ill repute, Captain. What are you talking about? I didn't want to believe it. Line. That's exactly, what's the next line? That's exactly what's happening. Hold on a second. I have something I want to say to all of you. Oh, he's going to give a Mahoney speech. It would be funnier if he just stood up and punched her. Right. And ran away. Thank you. Regardless of what the department has to say. And I just want to tell you, I've been doing this for many, many years. Every time I try to get out, they suck me right back in. I tell my mom. That sound is from Doom, the video game, the doors closing and opening. Yeah. <laughs> and I know that was used for that a game sound that band. fits on a like kilobyte <laughs> floppy disk. So we help them out. We give them a head start. We get them off the street. What they could do. Carrie is going back to school to become. a... He's gonna seduce her. She looks so... She had to sit down to be on his same level. She looks dead inside. If you look in that actor's eyes, this is one of the only properly framed shots in the movie. Not my bad. Yeah, well that's the real payoff of the film, is that they're all framed incorrectly until now. Until this? That's why this right. feels so weird? So right. Hot. Brilliant. My God! Skate away. <laughs> Skate with the roller boys away from this. <laughs> why is it white? She had a, she had a white bra on, right? That's your problem with the film. <laughs> Captain May. I can explain. And I think we should give them another chance. Oh, really? Well, that's not what you were saying. Oh, really? <laughs> Things have changed. Officer Carroll has presented a very hard argument. And I really think... <laughs> I, I know, I, I don't... An epidemic around. I don't, I don't want to, I don't even want to dignify. I feel like, just one more thing. Just one more thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's going to draw a hat on him. Can you, can we change the camera angle or just cut to... Good God! Great Scotch! By George. Because comedy is, it comes in threes. <laughs> the mayor was the peeping Tom. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Mayor. That's good writing. I bet it does. Because this is a face that you see every morning when you look in the mirror. You ever gonna get Todd Bridges out of there? Everything's far away. Look how much space is on the sides. I don't know why it helps to see the top of the set. Right. What a weird... 
decision. Yeah, there's like a catwalk up That's there. That's the catwalk. Yeah. For the studio that you're. Wow. I never thought I'd watch something that made. I'd like to officially. Last resort. Hey, better. don't worry. There's still 40 minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're never, I would never. No, it was not. our new head of Vice. Whoa, all right. Hey, where the hell's Clifford at? He was already the head of Vice. Well, seems the boy had to turn in his badge. Cliff, what, Haim? Yeah, he was only there for, you know. Yeah, he was there day. for the one day. Yay! And Officer Hamilton will be my new left-hand man. Okay, wait, no, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Why? Good writing. Bad editing. This is the actual attitude of the whole thing. He just yeah. said, Corey. Look at the cords over there. There's a cup down there. <laughs> is that how they end the fucking movie? <laughs> yeah. Corey Haim is billed second. Good for him. Are you kidding me? Good for him. Wow. What an absolute shit show. I am shocked that he's not singing the end song. It's really strange that his music isn't in it because he directed it. Maybe they had a stipulation in right. <laughs> that like, we'll take you, but none of your bullshit singing. They made a song about it. Busted. That was Back to Sofa, having fun with the movie Busted. Please like and subscribe and join us on our free Patreon to check out more great videos. Hey, if you're watching this on YouTube and we're premiering it, um, what was the hashtag that we were talking about? Oh, uh, it was um, shitcake. Hashtag shitcake. Hashtag shitcake. Share it with your friends. Send it to your grandma. Busted. Busted. Yeah, 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 yeah.